Sorry? You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm just looking at the flag. All right. What does it mean? So welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at Semex Aggregates Dove Holes Quarry in Buxton and SK17 postcode. So it's in the middle of nowhere, this place. They have got something quite interesting as a gate guardian, just there. Some quarry machinery, I'm not sure exactly what. And there's also a cycle path and footpath to the quarry. So does that mean for us? Oh no, no access for public. A works footpath only. Buxton plant. So I did just see a gentleman over here looking at this stuff on the ground. He was just about to scoop it up, I believe. Or was he putting it down? I'm not sure. Let's have a look. It is very busy. We've got some aggregate on the back there, look. Some nice stone. This guy's just putting his cover on over here before he enters the main public highway. It's also been washed. Yeah, this one's been washed as well. The water's still dripping off. That's good to see. That's lovely and shiny, that tanker. It keeps our roads clean, doesn't it? There's Mikey, he's entering site now. Yes, it's a little bit cold. I'm actually shaking a little bit. <laughs> so let's see what this is, eh? Let's see what this is on the floor. All right, some seed. It's some feed of some sort. Animal feed. Wonder why they've done that? I've no idea. What do you think? What purpose does it serve? I don't know. So someone just entered the site through this little footpath here and is now walking up there in a orange high vis. They obviously did see us filming, so if anyone's gonna raise the alarm, I think it'll be her so far. It is very busy, this place. And I think it's going to look absolutely fantastic with the drone as it appears over there. But for now, let's just keep looking at the entrance. So as you would expect, loads of rules. Helmets, eye protection, ear defenders, gloves, high vis, safety boots, speed limits, no children, no photographers, like <laughs> unauthorized persons and that they have got a safe walkway going up as she's using it right now. And they head up in that direction, do they? Okay. Bit of a map of the site that's there. As you enter a lorry park to the left, block plant, waybridge, fast track, quarry, office and staff car park. Coming out empty, this one. What a waste. It's quite unusual, that. It's got a hook and a high ab. Bobcat enter inside with Balf building construction following behind. So we've seen a few comings and goings, haven't we? I think now is the time to get David up and let's see what this place looks like 
from above. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area at all. Semex aggregates, Dove Holes Quarry. Let's have a look at you then, shall Take we? Off. So looking up the road, that's all we can see really, just there. But there's a lot more, isn't there? Oh yes. Max altitude reached. So we could just about see over the brow of the hill, top of the quarry. But before we go over there, let's just see what's below. Wow, look at that. They actually make stuff here, do they? Concrete slabs. A quarry over that way. The ground is very wet around here, so is this where the wheel washes? Maybe there, as they drive through it. And then the vehicles head down in that direction. Where we've got a hive of activity, haven't we? Might need to relocate to have a look at that lot. But right now, let's just head over and see what's over here. Well, you don't see that every day, do ya? Oh no. There's a lot of water in most of it but we do have some vehicles moving around tiny little dots in the distance we are up at 100 meters high looking down this is the area that they are chiseling away at just now as you can see and the vehicles will come and grab a load as they are doing over there, look. But we can't get too close. I don't want to take the drone too far away from me. But I might go over there. I might take the drone up closer to that area soon, but we'll see. This guy looks quite important. A flag on his vehicle. Right. Sorry? You're right. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. I'm just looking at the flag. All right. What does it mean? I thought you were videoing me. I was. For what reason? For the flag. Your vehicle looks uh, a bit unusual. What's the. Unusual. Yeah, but what's the meaning of the flag? Is it so that you can be seen on site? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm making a video about Semex. Oh, right, okay. You for YouTube. On? Of YouTube? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just took the drone over, it looks amazing. All right. All right. Okay. But we never found out what the flag's for, did we? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fine, yeah. Yeah. Where's he? Here? I am, mate. Yeah. Do you want a key ring? What's your name? Lee. Lee. Yeah. There you go, mate. Nice to meet you. Cheers, I'm trying to stay off their site, so yeah, I'll go yeah, back. No I'll pull up there and have a chat with you. Yeah, yes, yeah, I'm, mate. Gotta come near me sometime. Yeah, yeah, to yeah. Nice to meet you, mate. Yeah, yeah, cheers. And the health and safety executive main place down there in Buxton. Oh, at um, April. Well, that's where I'm based out there. Yeah, there. that's it. That's yeah. where my yard is there, up there. Somebody says um, you must visit there. It's a massive place, public footpath running through the middle. Right, it is, yeah, yeah. But they were fine. In fact, I found an unexploded shell. Oh, right. So that was quite. Oh, oh I found yeah. that there. Yeah. Yeah, when we was kids, we used to find them all the time up there. Loads of ordnance up there. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. They're actually doing explosives right now, and they sound an alarm. 
you know, to let everyone know. Yeah, yeah. What's this place then? Is this just a quarry that does the cement blocks or something? No, no, they do stone everything here. It's, so, it's Cemex, Cemex yeah. aggregates, so they do, they do everything. I, I, I'm a contractor and I've just been working on the wash plant. Oh, right. But replacing some bearings. Oh. Uh, yeah, they do all sorts here, all sorts of different stone. Is the wash plant the bit that goes down a hill and into that dip? Yeah, you, so if you're looking from above, there's like all the buildings here, the road goes like that and then into like loads of other buildings and then it goes down, down a hill like that and the lake's in the bottom. The wash plant's right at the bottom. It's the last plant thing in the bottom. Of the oh, so it's not the wheel wash? No. Oh, no, got you. No, no, no. You're on uh, about washing the aggregate? Yes. Ah. Yeah, it separates it out into sand. That small. must be much further much yeah, further. Right over the other yeah, side. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. get over there, so oh. I'm going to have to drive yeah, down yeah, a little yeah. bit. Go down here, there's a, a Dale Road. Yeah. It's that way, it's a small dale, you can see it from there. Yeah, that's If you go I'll further do. up, you can get out to, to the top. Right, okay. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's mad to meet you, mate. I, I, I thought, are you recording now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course it is. Yeah, I'm not bothered. Um, it's not against the law, is it? I no. Thought, you know what I no. saw you? I thought, shall I, shall I do the old, hey, don't be checking my video? <laughs> oh, is you going to act? <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I, I thought better of it because I'm some, not a very good actor. Some people say, oh, they're actors. That ain't happened no, in real no, life, but no. it really does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. But there's so many interesting things out are happening around places like this, but yeah. I couldn't get the drone all the way over. This one's sort of filled in with water around here. Yeah. And then there's an active one a little bit further down. Yeah. But there's loads of quarries around here, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's in books and full of quarries. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a lot to see around here. But nobody's yeah. objected yet. No, no, they won't. They won't. Books to people are a bit different. <laughs> A few people have said, are you okay? Do you need any help? Yeah, yeah. Now, fine, mate. Yeah, cool. But nobody said not allowed, and the viewers like are not allowed, yeah, as yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah. What do you reckon that is? A, a crusher? A crusher, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, it's a crusher. That spins around. It has, obviously, it's open. Normally, it's shut. It has things flailing around inside, smashing it all, smashing all the stone. And, so, yeah. if the travellers park next to it with their high ab and lift it yeah. up. There's about a grand's worth of scrap there, isn't there? Oh, yeah, and a bit more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's bolted down, I bet it is. But it, high ab will soon rip that up, won't it? Yeah, there's some weight in that. There's yeah. some weight in that. Oh, yeah, that's what they want. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. A heavy bit of metal. Yeah. Yeah, do you, so what I meant to ask you was, I've seen a lot of your videos where something's happened. And, I mean, obviously the one where you donated the money back to the, yeah. uh, the that woman. But, one thing that frustrates me is you never see the end thing. You know, I watch lots of different videos and, and you say, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you to court, I'm going to do this, like that. But you never see anything of it afterwards. I only got arrested once, well, a couple of times, but the main one was when I got compensation for the unlawful arrest yeah. when I was at the headquarters there. And I did a follow-up video showing you what... That was Derbyshire, I, wasn't it? Derbyshire, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I did a follow-up video to say, look, this is what I'm going to do with the money. And I donated it to the lady. Um, we then did one, yeah, you mentioned the one with the wheelchair, didn't you? Yeah. We did that, but that really weren't, that was just somebody <laughs> left a comment, and I thought, we could change your life here with just uh, a few hundred quid. Yeah. But yeah. And really, there was, I, there was I, the one where they posted your name and everything on there. It was uh, yes, PJ now, that did, was it Pete? No, was it Pete? No, it weren't PJ. It was um, the one who, he said he was going to give up after that, didn't he? Random outings. Random yeah. outings, that's it. came yeah. back for a little bit, it's but now he has gone. Yeah, quiet yeah. he has given well, up did anything happen because that they couldn't do that. what it was right the information that they put in the in the window nobody knows who it was or where they got the information from but what they're saying is because you've got over a hundred thousand subscribers you are now in the public domain so you can't expect privacy right. Ah, right so there you go so and if information about you is available when people search your name you like um a celebrity like a famous right. person yeah, yeah. you can't say oh don't ever publish my face right. or my name you sort of accepted that yeah, yeah. by getting big on right. the platform so when i took it to the solicitors that's what they said to me it says it's just a part of the game that you're playing oh, so right. and they says they they couldn't take it on however if i wanted to pay for a private firm to do it because this solicitors that we tend to use it's no win no fee yeah. so if they think you're going to win, they'll do it for no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But they didn't think they'd win, so. No. They says, look, you've accepted this. What's your problem? They've put your real name in your face. So what? 
<laughs> it's oh, just it like a, really matter, does it? an Ollie Merce poster or a yeah, Robbie yeah. Williams poster, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, what's but, great? Because I never see your face, but now I can put a, I can put a face to the voice now. But say like oh, Banksy, great. yeah? Everybody knows Banksy, what he does, but nobody knows what he looks like or what no, his name right. is. Yeah, yeah. So if a company then went and put Banksy's name and face all plastered outside, is that right? Well, yeah, well yeah. in their eyes, it, it is. Yeah. But I don't think it's properly been tested yet. No. But apart from that, I don't feel like um, we've not shown the result of anything you know yeah, I, yeah. I try and keep people updated yeah yeah no it's not i wasn't meaning just you i meant in yeah. general of the, the, i know, you know it, i know exactly what general, you mean yeah you, you see anything oh i'd like to know what happened with yeah. that but you never do do you it's yeah just on to the next video like, well you know. it does take uh, many months to actually yeah. legal action oh yeah to come to fr fruition you know I mean, it's like the one where um in Asia grove i think i don't think you were there that day where um uh, that guy hit him with a, at that car wash yeah. in Hazel Grove, you know. He had many visits to court and he was filming every time he went to court, weren't yeah, he? Giving yeah. you a little update. Yeah, so yeah. I know what you mean, that was great. Yeah. yeah. You could follow the story. Yeah. Yeah, especially because I, I mean, at the time then I was working in Hazel Grove, so I went past that every day. So Did I you? Knew it, so, you know, I was like, what the hell, look at that. It turns out he was a, as a people trafficker. Trafficker, oh really? Yeah, employing people that shouldn't be working. Right. Let's put it like that. Right. I think he was involved in a few other things, yeah. I think he got a, a sentence for that. Yeah, I should have done well. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I better go. Yeah, nice, nice to, to meet you. Me. Lee, weren't it? Lee, yeah. I'm crap with names. Yeah, yeah. Oh, don't yeah? push. Don't push it. Everybody calls me don't push. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, mate. Nice to meet you. So there you go, Marty. About a week. Is he going to take his door off? No, not quite. But this is the gentleman that's putting the feed on the floor. But this is the gentleman that's putting the feed on the ground. It's a perfect opportunity for us to ask him why he's doing it. Or is he cleaning it up? I think he might be cleaning it up. Yeah, he is. There's obviously been a spillage here. And he wants the feed for his own use. I think he's actually saying, get your bucket, I'll scoop some out of the back for you. Isn't that great? Obviously a regular checks this little lay-by to see if anybody's had a spillage of any seed or feed, whatever it is. I love that. Yes, mate, here you are. Let me give you a key ring. What's your name? Andy. Nice to meet you, Andy. Cheers. Thank you for watching, mate. Cheers. See you later. Andy. From NS Clark Transport Limited, there. So the gentleman's now got a full bucket of animal feed. Hello! We're getting a lot of paps. Give away a couple of key rings. And as Richard Lane cleans out the back and sweeps all of his dust outside. We'll move on from this entrance and we'll get a little bit closer to see what the place looks like a bit further down the road. The location of the DJ Audits key ring on this video is right just there. So if you are one of the first people to watch the video and you do want a key ring, good luck with that. It's a nice vehicle, isn't it? Cat thinning servicing the forklift trucks or the machinery i don't know but it's got a flag on it again must mean something at the quarry so we are now at a different location just down the road 
hopefully we can see a little bit more of this quarry processing area and yes we can Google Maps has helped us choose the perfect spot to launch the drone and there we are at 120 meters so we can see where they pile it all up once it's been dug out of the ground the front loader there just keeping the yard point updated. all tidy it's a beast isn't it massive mounds of the stuff and it'll be great if we see a vehicle coming up the ramp and reversing and tipping just there We'll stay in the air for a few minutes and see Max what happens. Altitude reached. All these conveyors as they transport it over in this direction. And it looks like they load it directly into the train carriages as well. And move it to other locations on the rail network. Yeah, that is certainly what is happening. And they've got a load ready, haven't they? Look at all that. So Lee, you told us that you did some maintenance on the wash. So I can't spot it, but you will be able to, my friend. And I bet it would be quite nice for you and many of us to see this place from above. So there you go. Loads happening, isn't there? Do they actually pre-fill these mortar mix silos here? It looks like it's definitely where they do it. I did wonder. So that's the processing area. Now we just need to continue up that road and have a good look inside the quarry. So let's see some machinery moving around, shall we? Because the vehicle is not coming to tip anytime soon. So let's get David back and do one final drone flight. So there we have it. Right inside one of the quarries. This one's obviously full of water, but the one that they're working on right now is not. So let's fly over and get a closer look. So we have some pumps down here trying to get the water out to allow that little baby to rip all the rocks out the ground ready for one of these here to come and move it over to the processing area that we saw earlier and there should be loads of these things on their way to the digger but i can't see many they have a long way to go before they can get up to the top i've got something else there whether he's working from above <laughs> from above i don't know but is it because it's getting late now the time here is three o'clock but it is a friday friday the 24th of november so they may be finishing early so let's just get as high as we can let's show you as much as we can before we do eventually wrap this video up. More machinery parked up down there. So yeah, they probably have just finished early for the day. One more on its way. So we'll end the video with this final shot.
drone footage complete. It's a great view, isn't it, from there? Yeah. I just took the drone over and you get right in the quarry. Oh, are you a bird watcher? No, just machinery. Oh, just YouTube well, videos. Stuff over there. What's that? You see that clip, that hill over there? Yeah. Are you local? No, Leicester. Right. Well, two years ago, that there was a cliff face over there, and they filled it in in two years from the bottom of the quarry with all the rubble that comes off. Oh, did they? And it's only it, they're going to be up level with it. Wow. We've got some big stuff here. Yeah. Have you just come up to have a look at this? I went over to the the health and safety executive yeah. site you've got oh, nearby. Yeah. yeah. I went to film that for the YouTube channel because that's a little bit interesting, and it, they're oh. explosives testing there, you know. Oh, do they? Yeah. Yeah. So how do we have a look at that on YouTube? Watch the type in. Just type this in. You can have this. Because I've got YouTube. Yeah, just type in DJ Audits. Is that what you are? Yeah, that's me. Is that your company? Just a YouTube channel. Oh, we'll have a look. Yeah. It won't, will it be there tonight, do you think? No, about a week's time. Bloody hell. But you'll see, anything interesting, yeah. industrial, you know? Yeah. Anything industrial. Uh, what? Old or new? Or aren't you anything. Anything, really. Yeah, you sit down, there's a car coming. Jasper, <laughs> sit. I've got no treats. No, he's not. He's, yeah. <laughs> Just sit, there's a car coming. Sit. Where does that lead then? Uh, you can actually get out onto the Devolves Road. It's a, it's a public road, but there's a gate on it. Oh, I tried to come to the other end. It had a sign saying a bylaw, no vehicle can travel down here or something. Oh, I've not seen that. So I thought I'd come in That's the other entrance. That. Somebody's mm. decided, because vehicles, I mean, I drive up and down it practically every bloody day. Yeah. But they don't go all the way, because I live that way. Yeah. It's just um, a pain to open the gate, isn't it? Yeah, but you can get all the way to the gate. Yeah. Um, see, this road here, four years ago, used to go across there, right across this bit of quarry. Oh, did it? Yeah. I think he's lost his ball oh, underneath. Get it. He'll find it. Want me to get it for him? A, oh, there it is, look. It, yeah, there it is. It's a bugger for getting to play with his ball. Oh, is there? He to throw it, actually. That's what he wants. It's get oh, what you like? Is our throw it up there, then? Yeah. There you go, mate. What's his name? Jasper. Jasper. I thought you were one of the birds. Some bird watchers come here to pally with. But one of them's just had a stroke and he's pretty bloody poorly. Do you get many birds? Yeah, well, surprisingly, yeah. There's uh, peregrine falcons who nested on that up there oh, right. this year and last year. And uh, there's always a two, two or three pairs of ravens up there. Right. Every year. Okay. But these bird watchers are keen on a funny little bird and they're called, it sounds like, it's spelled like twats, but they're actually called twaits. Right. And they're smaller than sparrows, and they fly all the way from Norfolk every year to nest here. Right. And they've done it for about 11 years, and this year they didn't bloody come. And this is the best spot, is it? Just, just down there, right. there's a little road that goes over towards Smalldale. Right. And they used to feed them every year and everything, about a dozen of them. But they've disappeared this year, they don't know where they've bloody gone. Oh. Yeah, he got an award from the RSPB for his work following these little birds. They're Brilliant. only bloody tiny. How can I find him online? What's he called? He's the one that's had the stroke, unfortunately. Oh, right. Yeah, he's okay. called Richard. Uh, oh, I don't know his bloody surname. Anything interesting that you can tell me about the quarry? Only that they're very keen on ecology and he had his car pinch one year full of telescopes and cameras and they bought him a new pile of kit for wow. quarry people. Okay. Yeah. And they yeah, they land they keep it landscaped. Did they do this to the surface? Yeah, they chuck gravel down. That's brilliant. I isn't think it? they're alright. Yeah. So. And we've got a this is some of the best limestone in the world comes out of here. Yeah, I'll bet. And um look and never remember what it's called. Hindlow, just over on the Ashbourne Road. 
Oh, he wants his ball thrown again, look. <laughs> Go on, Jasper. Go and get it, mate. And there's an old pump on the River Wye that's been there for about 180 years, but it's a right sod to get to. You'd, you'd never find it without. I just found a, um, a shell. Look at this. Oh, there's a lot around here. Yeah. I just reported that to security at uh, the health and safety site, but... Oh, an old shell. Yeah. Oh, crack, I thought you meant an amino, uh, you know, a shell in the limestone. That's stuff. massive, you know. There's my hand, it so imagine big. how big it is. It's about a 10-inch shell, that. Shit, that, that's from... Uh, that must be First World War, you know. Look at that. Still got its uh, seal on. It's, it's a cartridge, that. It's not a shell. It's full, isn't it? Yeah, that's a cartridge. Yeah. Because they put the cartridge in after the, they put this the shot in and then they put the cartridge in after it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's a bloody cartridge. And then have you told them about it? Yeah, anyway? I reported it straight away. And yeah. what you can do online, they'll go and they'll get that. Yeah, they need to. You can have a little square and it will tell you exactly where you are to four meters, right? So it gives it a name. So I've told them exactly where it is. And then, just as I was filming down here, all I could hear is sirens. I'm wondering whether the bomb squad have gone. They will, because that's got explosive in. Yeah, and it's right next to where they are testing explosives. Christ Almighty! Unless it's no, it's not a charge because the charges they put in us. Man, it, they used to be big years ago. It's literally just sitting on the grass. It's embedded. It's been there for a long time, lot. It does. And it, the field where it is, you've just got animals grazing but there's no animals there at the minute it's so like you've got well, it's not likely to go off because they it, need uh, they need something to make them explode yeah but, but they'll be, they'll, they'll go get it. what it is there's no fence so no. anybody can wander around there and what if kids start you know lobbing it or whatever or smashing it with sticks yeah. you just never know do you no you bloody don't with it being the health and safety executive Shit. it's not very safe for the public, you know? Hey, what a day you've had coming all the way from Leicester. Yeah, yeah. It's bloody marvellous, isn't it? So, I'm going to disappear now. There's an old car chassis at the top here, or a lorry chassis, about 70 or 80 years old. No, it must be more. It's about 1920. Is there? What, just up, up here? Right at the very top. It's hard to find. I've been coming here for since 2020, so yeah. I know the area pretty well. Right, well, I'll let you carry on, my friend. Yeah, you have a good life. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so we off to left now? Yeah, back home now. Only really came to do the health and safety, but as I passed, I saw this massive quarry on Google Maps, yeah. and I thought, I've got to have a look at that. They're taking 32 million... It'll be tons, not cubic metres. They've just been granted permission to take all that cliff face away. 32 million tons. Yeah, well, if it's that good. If it's oh, good. they are. And apparently, somebody told me they want to make it into a lake when they finish. They've got about another eight years and they've got to finish. Right. And they want to make it into a lake so mm. people can... I don't know whether that's true or not. Do you hear explosions here? Not really. They're very muffled now because a pal of mine used to be a shot fire. And I was asking him about it. I said, uh, it's not a sharp crack now when they... They uh, do the shot firing, and it, what they do is the explosions go off at very, very short intervals. So it, they're nearly together, but they're not quite together. So you don't get the blast. Right. That's why these earth banks are here, so yeah, people don't get wafted. Yeah. You've done it now. You see, it's bloody parked up there. It's not lost it, has it? No, it won't lose it. Okay, that. okay. Yeah. Oh, you have a good one. Take care yeah. of the end one. It's bad on bloody Friday. Yeah, everyone wants to get home, don't they? Yeah. All right, mate. So if I get on DJ audits, they have to tell me all about you. Press the subscribe button, and every time I put a video on, it will give you a notification, and you just need to look for the quarry. <laughs> It'll be about a week. One goes on every day, you know, every day at four o'clock. So how do you make a living? Yeah, the YouTube adverts that you have to watch pay me a few pence. Every time you watch it, I get a few oh, pence. But there's so many people, 
there's there's hundreds of thousands of people watching these adverts and all these few pences add up so you, you make quite a lot of money off youtube you know and you make enough to it you must do i'll show you so you can make a lot of money by doing videos that people want to watch and you see these youtubers big youtubers and you think how are they making a living off it yeah because it pays quite a lot of money the adverts you know you watch an advert even if you press skip yeah it still pays me Jeez. because they've paid google yeah to put the advert on so, yeah. and google are giving me half of it and you've got to see the advert because i mean yeah. i'm not bothered about adverts you press skip and they carry on watching yeah 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 but, hell, but just because you're so it's machinery you're after or industry so industrial estates basically that what was that the quarry yeah that was quite not loud. loud is it well it was some sort of an explosion it, it might, might be that, that shell <laughs> I bet it bloody was. do you reckon yeah um, yeah they can't leave stuff like that seriously do you reckon they're very... yeah wow <laughs> well you'll be able to tell next time you come won't you if you have a look i'm tempted to go back and see if there's and any have a look yeah they don't piss about uh, uh, because my son was in sort it straight away right okay whatever, you know you do see them finding them in the canals these magnet fishes don't you yeah and then like an hour later all the roads closed oh yeah he, he used to have some bloody adventures he's dead now but he, he was in afghanistan right and sorry to his, hear that one of his best mates was uh, who i still know he comes to see me now and again he was uh, when he was in the special forces he was one of the guys if anybody got blown up he was training medical assistants and all the rest of it and they used to scoop all wow right i better get going bye bye jasper oh, machinery. <laughs> you know i wonder if you could find that old water pump because it's bloody old is it on the river why i'll do some research on it if you go to do you know where topley pike car park is no it's on if you go to Buxton and go down Ashwood Dale to Oars Bakewell, there's a bloody great big car park called Topley Pike. Park in the car park and walk down the river till you come to a, a weir, a big weir, it's about three quarters of a mile. If if you got your wellies on, you can walk across the weir and there's a funny little stone building in all the undergrowth. You can't bloody see it till you get there. And in there is a pump that was built when they first started that quarry, that big quarry over there in 1800 and something. And it's still bloody there. Right, okay. And it's a lovely, because I fish on that river and for years I've thought how I could get it out, but I couldn't. Yeah, it's, I'll have a look, mate. That is as big as your bloody car. That is now on the list. <laughs> yeah. So you look for the, you can't miss the weir. Just keep walking. It'll say Blackwell Mill Cottages, and you'll see this where there's a lovely big flat pool and a viaduct and then it, it tumbles down a proper human built weir in the river if you walk across the top of the weir they're into bridge there and then just look straight ahead of you behind that there's a massive tree and there's this pump house all right okay yeah keep and a look out on the channel and i'll show you it <laughs> <laughs> take care mate yeah look after yourself